Hello there, I'm Chris and in this video I will tell you how I got fame on Snapchat. Well, I didn't get fame at all, but at least I'm going to jail only for one year though, because, well, I obviously don't have one million euros to repay Austria. What can I say? So, before I will be gone, I will tell you my story. So, if you're interested in how I did it, pros and cons of this approach and detailed statistics, Keep on watching. First of all, how did I get the stickers? Why did so many guys ask me this question like, do you even Google? Just screenshot your snap code, search for outdoor stickers, send your screenshot to a company who does outdoor stickers and order a few outdoor stickers. It is literally as easy as that. Well, I spent a few hours to make mine look good, but it is literally as easy as that. And I got myself quite a lot of them, 10,000 pieces to be specific. Yeah, I know it's it sounds like a lot and it is actually. <laughs> and I paid around 100 bucks for them. So just do the exact same thing and when the box arrives then the game is on. So is it possible to spread them on your own? Well, probably. Well, you could definitely know life the hell out of this project. Scatter 100 stickers every day then you would be done in 100 days why not but in my opinion there are definitely better ways and i will get to that in a second first of all rolls you will get followers on snapchat and that's it <laughs> that's literally it like what else do you want <laughs> not going to jail maybe cons you will be very restricted to your area and you will probably be very restricted to young people but you know for a youtuber that sounds about fine right and it is also quite expensive as you will see soon plus the stickers they live a very short life after you sticked them well it totally depends on your city and how clean it is kept but for example my town and Vienna it is ridiculous they disappear overnight every single one is gone on the next day it is ridiculous and pretty demotivating to be honest but of course there are places where they might stay a little bit longer you just have to experiment if you decide to go for it but just that you know in shopping malls for example it is pretty dangerous i already got a few problems with security guards it is not that fun you have to keep watching your surroundings and be observant all the time it's that's simply not for me and lastly and that's probably well it's definitely the biggest problem only a few people know how to scan a snap code it is ridiculous this feature is still pretty much new and they simply don't know how to use it if that wouldn't be the case this would be a game changer literally but it is like it is, they simply have no idea what it is. It's like, it's a yellow sticker with a Snapchat ghost on it. Wow. But it does work, I simply don't spend much time on scattering them on my own. So now I will get to that part, you know, to my idea which got me in trouble. I started to give them away to people, to my friends, to my fans and yeah, shit went crazy. So that is definitely a thing you have to think about. What happens if you give them to people and they start to damage property, stick them on cars or whatever, it all happened to me. What happens if the owner backtraces you? What happens if the owner tries to... The stickers, they won't actually do any damage on a property, but if you're unlucky, the owner might try to screw you up somehow, maybe because of the sticky residue or something like that. It is probably nonsensical to go over the legislature in my country, but you know, keep it in mind. How hard will you get punished for committing this crime? In my case, they calculated how long it would take to remove 10,000 stickers and multiplied that with an hourly wage of a cleaning dude. And that's roughly 3,000 euros plus damaging properties, breaking laws, stuff like that. And in the end, it turned out to be 1 million. I know it's crazy. It's like what the hell but anyways let's get to the statistics as i said i got myself 10,000 stickers i sticked around 500 of them myself and i gave away around 3,500. so 40 percent of my stickers are out there or better yet used up and i tracked every single ad so let's see what this approach can do for you all in all 279 guys added me so far and this number will probably rise up to let's say 300 as the last stickers are getting scattered this very moment at least i guess so and around half of them 
watch my story. And that means for every 13th sticker one dude out there added me. So in my case, that means one Snapchat ad cost me around 13 cents and one story view cost me around 26 cents. You decide for yourself if that's a good ratio or not, but that's what I got so far. And I have to say that I would probably not do it again. It is simply too much work, too dangerous. But oh my God, I still have 6,000 left. This should last for quite some time. And by the way, me going to jail was obviously a lie. Of course I have 1 million to repay Austria. Like, what did you think? If you enjoyed this video, you know what to do, right? Hit that like button right now, leave a comment or question below because I love answering them. And subscribe for the viral vibe. Oh yeah.